So the other day I asked my audience to ask me anything on Twitter. And here are some of the questions that you guys asked me. And by the way, some of the questions I merged them because I believe that um, it's easier for me to explain the strategies and the fundamentals, even though some questions might not feel that are within the same category. So bear with me, okay? So the first three questions I got asked are how to start from scratch. How can someone make a good income with their illustration skill? Uh, how can I improve my coloring a lot? How can I grow my freelancing work? So in my opinion, uh, this is about learning, okay? This is not about how to get more money or how to grow a freelancing work or whatever, no. In my opinion, this is about learning something new. For example, right now I'm learning SEO and here search engine optimization and here's how, I, how I'm doing it. Um, I purchased one course and I enrolled in two free courses, okay? I also purchased some software that some of my fellow Twitters, Tweeps, uh, taught me to, to purchase to better my SEO. And I also watched some YouTube videos about that particular subject, SEO. So man, it's very simple. You have the internet. Just Google how to start fill in the blank or how to learn X, Y, or C or how to do that or where can I get more clients? Google it. Google will tell you the answer. But here's the, the thing. Stick to two to three sources, okay? And put into practice what you learned. Don't, don't, don't shy away from those two or three sources. Stay within those two or three sources. And here's the thing. Stick to that project for at least six months. <laughs> if, you're not, if you're not willing to do this for at least six months, don't do it, man. Don't do it, okay? Because, for example, illustration, it's something that takes time to develop. Coloring is something that takes time to develop. Freelancing is also something that takes time to develop because you need to learn how to find clients, how to pitch your services to your clients, okay? And how to get paid the, the amount that you want to get paid and a lot of more things. So really, Google it and read a couple of articles. Buy a couple of books and just read through that or watch some courses like I'm doing. I watched three courses in a, in a span of two or three days. How I did it, I just took X the speed and I watched and then I implemented what I learned. I also took some notes and some from time to time I put it in, you know, I put the video in pause, okay? So don't overcomplicate the process. You have, this, you have already the, the idea Okay, it's, it's now time to put it into practice. And if you don't know where to start, just Google it, man. Really, Google it and buy some courses and learn from two or three sources. That's it. Now, another question I got asked. How do you get better engagement on your social media post? One, be polarizing. And no, I'm not talking about talking about polarizing topics, about things that make people's hair go on fire. No. I'm not talking about that, okay? So if you have an opinion, okay? And let's say that opinion is, well, let's say you think that people who watch Netflix are dumb. <laughs> well, that's polarizing, you know? You're, you're polarizing there. You, you could tweet something like, if you're wasting your time on Netflix during a pandemic, you're dumb. That's a polarizing tweet. Now, here's the thing. You are antagonizing a group of people. You, I suggest you could, you could from, that, from time to time, you can antagonize a group of people, but just don't do it in a way that's overly offensive, okay? <laughs> don't, don't, don't go nuts on this, okay? With polarizing, I also talk about um, using absolute words. So for example, using the word always or never, or the word the very the, the same word absolute is polarizing because it's absolute there's nothing more um 100 than that okay so you polarize by using absolute words antagonizing groups now take care of the antagonization because when you antagonize groups you get you get hammered online so don't don't do it that, that often okay but here's some groups that you can antagonize lazy people Stupid people, 
dumb people, politicians, those are people that you can antagonize, okay? Just don't go against groups that are trying to do to to better other other people's lives, okay? Try try not to do that. Um, also, be prolific. The more you um, tweet, the more you post, the more people will pay attention, okay? Be prolific with your posting schedules. Post more, tweet more, talk, engage more with your audience. What do I mean with engage? Reply to their comments, slide into their DMs and, and connect with them, ask them questions. Do what I'm doing right now. This is me connecting with my, my Twitter audience, okay? Be prolific about that. And also be constant. Very, very important. You need to be consistent. And here's a way to say it in a polarizing way. People who are not consistent will always fail. Well, that's a tweet there. That's a post. That's a polarized, well, social media post. Everyone who, <laughs> who doesn't develop their self-discipline are destined to fail. That's polarization right there. And it's also something that feels truthful enough, okay? So be polarizing, be prolific, and be constant. That's, that's about it. Um, another question I got asked, how do you get better engagement on social media posts? Okay, okay, my bad. I, I had another, other, other, other ideas. So you provide MOVE, M-U-V, ma massive upfront value. And how do you provide this massive upfront value? You entertain, you educate, and you inspire. Okay, so by entertaining, I mean make them laugh, make them think, make them wonder, okay? Uh, by education, I mean teach them how to do what you do. That, it cannot get that more simpler, more simpler than that. How did you learn what you know? Talk about that. Where, what were your struggles when you were learning that thing? Talk about that. How did you solve those struggles? How did you fix those problems. Talk about that. And finally, the last, the last way of providing value, inspire. Tell your story. How did you get started? What happened throughout your journey? And what was the, the result of all the hard work that you did? Okay, so you provide massive value uh, upfront. Massive upfront value, MUV, okay? in the form of entertainment, education, and inspiration. That's how you get better social media um, engagement. And more people will start seeing you as an authority. And when people see you as an authority, they will start to trust you. And when people trust you, man, people will buy from you, okay? Let's talk about the other question I got. How do you sustain focus on an objective for multiple hours, days, or even weeks until it's accomplished? So, Here's how I do it. I don't actually sustain focus for long-term goals or objectives. I don't like having long-term goals, meaning like, for example, I have a one, two, 10, 100 year goal. I don't like that. That gives me anxiety. That makes me stressed. So what I do is I have short-term objectives that I believe will make my life better, okay? And it's also easier to measure. When you have shorter term objectives, it's easier to measure than something that you plan to achieve in one year or five years. Okay, so have weekly objectives or daily objectives or monthly objectives. But more than that, it's too much. And of course, you can dream. You can have big dreams. Okay, and the path uh, to reach those dreams is with those short term objectives. Okay, so let's say that you, your long term objectives is to quit your job. I don't know how long you, it could take you to do that. But if you, let's say, if you set short term goals, let's say for this month, what can you do every single day that will help you get closer to that long term objective of quitting your job? Okay, let me give you an example. So at the moment of this recording, I'm learning SEO. My long-term objectives is to rank higher on Google. And my system is to write SEO-ready articles. Okay, so I'm going to post one or two or three articles a month with 
having all the SEO tactics and strategies all you know embedded inside my my article so that in a couple of months I see myself ranking on a higher place on Google okay now I cannot control Google but I can influence it by tweaking those articles in a way that helps me rank higher so my system is actually writing more articles more well-written articles more SEO ready articles using all the tactics I learn about SEO and see myself ranking higher if and if that doesn't work I'll just keep trying at the end of the day I was still going to be writing articles for my blog and for my uh, newsletter so now I'm just taking the SEO approach to write those articles and those emails that's it now of course the emails will not rank on Google but I later on I could copy paste those emails and put it on my blog post so instead of focusing on my objective of ranking higher on to on on Google I develop a system to write SEO ready articles and I'm going to be posting one to three articles a month on my blog post on my on my blog okay that's about it actually so stop thinking long term think a little bit more short term and think about the daily actions that will take you to those short term goals and those short term goals will take you to the long term objectives so really think about short term goals which are those the ones that you believe will take you farther in life in less time that's on you to the side another question i got was cold calling in person when trying to get new clients uh, cold calling or in person when trying to to get new clients let me tell you something i don't call call anymore i don't do in person meetings anymore okay i send emails and i hop into zoom meetings i mean i live in 220 in 2020 and we're right now at the moment at this recording we are in a pandemic so if you're not using this time to learn how to launch a zoom meeting and have zoom meetings and send emails and send dms through any social media you're missing out okay uh, if you haven't decided on doing this on a digital way my, my friend i don't know what you're doing with your life okay this is the perfect time to learn about how to pitch stuff without being in front of the person cool now another question this one i loved it what's your pricing strategy for your products so my strategy is very simple i always price low during a pre-sale for example and i promise that the price will go up after the pre-sale is over a pre-sale is selling something that still might not be ready or that's um i don't even know how to explain it man it's just it's just selling something in which the person who pays you for that thing is not getting that thing in that very same moment but they will get it when the time is 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 there okay so oh, so always price low and then promise to raise the prices so for example if the if i already launched the product and i update the product or add more content to the product i always raise the price but before raising the price i tell my audience to purchase it before i raise the price okay that way i can use the urgency you know urgency is one of the best persuaders in the world because it's based on fear fear of missing out on the discount or on the offer uh, when people see they only have 24 hours left to do x y or c that gives them urgency think about the time that you were at school and you had to to write a <laughs> a report for the next day you've been delaying that thing for three months and you will write that report from one day to another because of the urgency okay so the same thing happens with your with, with your products promise people that the price will go up at a deadline and actually raise the price at the deadline so people understand that you actually deliver on your promises of raising the prices now if you see me promoting a one to ten dollar offer it's because um i understood that free is not good and you know i remember from time to time i had like free products i do have some of those but i don't i don't promote them very much and then by pure serendipity because of an error of the e platform that i use 
um, I couldn't price the the product at zero dollars meaning at free so I priced it at one dollar okay and I saw that like 200 people purchased that free product that they go that one dollar product <laughs> I got like 200 emails and I got paid for those 200 emails if I had priced that at zero dollars I, I I've been there people don't actually get it they just don't but at one dollar I got 200 people to give me one dollar and also I got 200 emails so if you see me promoting something at a very very low price it's because later on I will pitch you something else a more expensive product by the way so I've decided not to create so many free products the only free products that you're going to get are like this kind of videos the free content that I pr that I put in my email list and in the videos on the YouTube videos but that's it then no more free guides I highly doubt I will create a free guide or a free course from now on because I notice that people don't actually get in when they see free and when they see free it's usually it's not the type of people that I want uh, within my email list or buy my stuff by the way that said what are the skills that every person should know before their 30s these are the ones that I believe work the best and across all industries one persuasion meaning the art of influencing someone to do something for you in which you and that person both benefit it's a win-win situation persuasion is not manipulation manipulation is when you influence someone uh, for your own benefit against the self-interest of that person so they get a bad deal no that's that's manipulation persuasion is when you both win okay so there's a book called influence by robert robert cialdini you should buy it it will teach you the the tenets of persuasion i also suggest you learn public speaking being able to speak and to give a speech in front of a hundred people a thousand people a hundred thousand people it's a freaking superpower and it translates very very well into the online world for example what i'm doing right now is practicing my public speaking because even though i'm not in front of of a of a real audience i'm in front of you guys in a digital way okay this is also a way for me to practice my english which has been getting better every single time that i hop into one of these videos okay and you should also polish your writing skills specifically in the form of copywriting copywriting is the art of persuading through the written word okay when you learn how to persuade through writing you've developed a superpower why is that because writing is there forever you write something people read it they feel compelled to purchase something from you because of that writing man that's a that's a a great way to make an income so learn copywriting and polish your writing skills how man just google it man i won't i won't go into that right now <laughs> um also learn sales meaning not in the one-on-one -on -one personal like physical way you don't need that anymore learn how to do it through the camera through video conferences it's basically the same thing okay it's actually asking a lot of questions that's sales asking the painful questions understanding the pains of the person understanding the dreams of aspirations of the person giving an answer to their objections that is sales if you can learn how to ask powerful questions and get very specific answers from someone and then offer them something to solve those problems that is sales in a nutshell and that's a superpower so if you combine persuasion public speaking writing and copywriting and sales man that translates throughout all of the the industries doesn't matter if you work in the in the oil rig you will have to persuade your boss to give you a raise you could use persuasion for that or writing or public speaking because you will have to speak with that person or sales because you will have to talk with that person and and let them know the benefits of giving you a, a raise okay so yeah learn these four skills and you'll be ahead of the curve another question I, I i got asked how should i get my first web design client once i set up my web design freelance site what's the most effective way 
do the work send 100 e emails every day to 100 different people that's the the, the, horf, the the formula that's the formula and that works for any any kind of agency that you want now what are you going to say in those emails you don't even have to talk too much about yourself it should be short and sweet it's all about letting people know that you know who they are okay and laying like the benefits of working with you and if that they they would like to to hop into a call with you click a link send them to your scheduler and they will set the the meeting with you i suggest you take a look at calendly c a n d e a e <laughs> fuck it i won't i don't i won't do spelling in english right now so uh, calendly.com sorry for the spelling man it's too hard doing it in life in english so um go to calendly.com that's a very good uh, scheduler it's free they have a paid version but you don't need it and just add a link to that scheduler on your email so people can set the meeting right there now this is the very simple way to do it there are many other ways to to persuade people through emails but this is the the fast and easy way to to get started now you don't have to send emails 100 emails every day you can start with 10 then with 20 then with 50 then with 100. now how do you search for those emails you could get started with google with places nearby you just go to google maps find all the businesses that might fall within the people that you want to work with and get those emails that's the easy way also you can hop into linkedin pay the premium version and learn a little bit of, about how to find clients on linkedin and yeah pitch pitch them tell tell them about the the how valuable your services can be for them it's not about you it's about them by the way okay talk about the benefits of working with you okay um you can also dm people send direct messages using social media with the same pitch short and specific the shorter the better okay also promote your services on social media every single day this is let me give you an example if you're a web designer you could just post something like this if you want a new website send me a dm dms are open or click here and send them to to your to a form inside your web inside your web page really that's all it is to promote your stuff on social media that said let's go to the other question how do you know your content is ready for publication i don't have an answer for that but here's what you could do forget about quality when you're writing the first draft okay let me be clear this is only for the first draft you're going to create a mess <laughs> with the first draft so forget about the quality for that first draft the purpose of writing the first draft is to do a brain dump just to put words inside the blank pages okay talk about everything you know about a particular subject and if you don't know about something investigate it and if you practice that put it inside your 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 document okay find inspiration on what other people are doing that you are also doing and find the correlations between other successful people and you and describe that in your in your draft now write until your hands bleed <laughs> this is a metaphor metaphor so chill um what i mean with this is write 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 as many words as you can disregard quality for this first draft and then when you are somewhat happy happy you know with your first draft start editing and start moving things around okay this is when you start thinking about quality and making your draft better and something inside of you will say okay this good this look good enough it will never be perfect that's the unfortunate reality of creating content for any kind of audience you will never feel it's perfect but if it go if it looks good enough for you put it post it who knows man later on since since most of the things are digital you can you can always update the stuff okay now make sure that what you post online makes you feel good okay you're not going to post your first draft <laughs> you're going to post like the seventh or tenth draft okay 
So yeah, that's about it. Um, another question. What top three ideas that make you more efficient in business and life? In my opinion, systems are better than goals. I talked about this a while ago. Think about the things that you can do every single day that will lead you to your goals. Okay? Think about those tasks and those actions that you must put a check mark every single day that will make you better. Systems over goals. Okay? Done is better than perfect. Perfection is reserved to the gods, if you believe in gods, in the gods and the different gods. Um, done is better than perfect. Now, I, I, I'm not trying to say to, pro, to push and publish bullshit. I'm not talking about that. I'm just talking to, I'm just telling you that it's better to at least have a sense of completion than being stuck in the idea that, uh, that you need to do things perfectly. Okay? Perfect. You cannot do things perfectly. That's impossible for a human being. So done is better than perfect. Um, and set the ball rolling because starting out is the harder part, okay? It, it's really hard to get started. So do so by reducing the friction before, uh, uh, reducing the friction, the friction of starting out. That's what you need to do. Make starting out very, very easy. So if you have a big task, divide that task into smaller actions that you can take. So if you want to write let's say uh, a novel, a 100,000 word novel, start by writing 100 words. Start by imagining the characters. Start imagining like the, the different plots that you, your story will have. If you're thinking of recording a video course, start with writing. Again, writing is a very powerful skill. If you're thinking about changing a career, Start reading some books about the new career that you are trying to get into. Okay? So take small steps that are not difficult to take. Because starting out is actually the hardest part. So what now? I encourage you to visit my website, rosa.do slash links. You will find tons of links there. Very, very powerful links. Very cool things. Very important things things that might change your life, things that will teach you some of the skills that I already possess, like web design, for example. And you can also join my newsletter. There's a link in there. And there's a link also to read my newest blog post. So go there and subscribe to my newsletter. That's about it. See you soon. Bye-bye.